I do believe there is a stigma surrounding mental illness and I think a lot of people automatically assume that anybody battling mental illness is weaker than other people or can't handle the work that they're being assigned or are just inferior in general and that's very frustrating for me. I know I've, like I said, met so many people who are battling things and no, no one knows anything about and you would never know if they didn't say anything to you about it and everybody handles things differently and just because this one person is battling things that you don't know anything about doesn't mean that they aren't able to handle um, the same things. In fact, I think it really makes them stronger because they're able to balance the way that they're feeling about all these things and still get things done and be in college and be successful. Yeah, I definitely believe there is one and I believe that it's negative. Um, I believe there is one just because when you say men mental illness, a negative stigma comes to mind. So I think there is one. I think there is a stigma, but like recently it's opened up in the past couple of years with like people coming out and talking about it. So I think it's become a lot easier. I think there is one, and I think it's a very bad thing, but I do think it's going away at some level. Um, not in my personal experience. I know that at a college campus, students really build up their stress throughout the week, and going out on the weekends is they're blowing off steam. And I feel that their mental illness deteriorates by doing that, so I don't think they really cope with it correctly. I don't particularly think that college students handle mental illness in the most effective way. I think a lot of students will automatically turn to drinking or drugs or um, even just hiding away and isolating themselves and not getting out into the world. I know it's really difficult on college campuses, especially for students without cars because you're really just stuck on the campus and even here in the winter months it can be very difficult to even see the point of leaving your room when it's just snowy and cold and like terrible weather all the time. So I think that there could definitely be some improvements in that department, but I think everybody knows what works for them and they do what they think needs to be done to make them feel best. Um, I don't really know, like, to be honest, but I guess like if I had to define it, it would be like a cognitive disability of some sort. Mental, I don't know the proper definition to mental illness, but I know that it can hurt someone's um, ability to function normally in their everyday life. I don't know if I could define it, like, easily. I know what it is, obviously. I guess it's just, like, when there's something, like, that is making your brain operate in a way it shouldn't. So, to me, um, mental illness is any kind of disorder that really affects your mood and the way that you think about or perceive yourself or others or um, I don't just the way that you're behaving in general uh, when somebody's feeling like either depressed or they're just like not really like thinking straight in like a positive manner think health services um, no I didn't even know yet it counts like it's on Walnut Street, I think, or Walnut Ave, one of those. Um, I do know where there are counseling centers on campus. No, I don't. Do you? Yeah, absolutely. I think that resources and conversations about mental illness are important, not only on college campuses, but everywhere in general. Um, but they should be talked about a lot more on campuses just because there's a lot of pressure that college students experience when they're going about their daily lives. Everything about college is extremely abnormal when you compare it to the real world and I don't think that college students get enough credit for the way that they are handling themselves and all the work that they're doing and the things that they are balancing. I mean, I don't know if I've ever talked to a college student that hasn't battled um, seasonal depression or anxiety or even an eating disorder any of those three just to name a few um, are very common
I think basically it's just like thinking that small things are like bigger than they actually are. Um, it's like when you have such an inability to like cope with either like stress or like things that like are outside your control just kind of come in so you just feel like very overwhelmed not like easily but like just kind of happens to you like you can't control it 